Hi everyone, it's Tommy from Tech Nexus, and thanks for joining me again today. Uh, yesterday, you would have seen that we did our Area 2 equipment model for this project, um, and today I'm going to jump back into Advanced Steel and finish off or, or make a good uh, effort on this North South Pipe Rack. Now, it might seem a little confusing with me jumping all over the place, but you have to sort of think that this is the kind of project I'm one person on this project, but there might be uh, three or four people on this project. So while one of uh, the users is doing the, the the layout, the equipment layout, a, a person, a different person in a different part of the office uh, would be doing this north south rack. So again, the the videos that you see this week are sort of you'd have to think of them sort of travelling uh, in line with one another rather than just jumping all over the place. So. Let's jump into this model here. So I'm just going to switch back to advanced steel. So I've got that model loaded there already. Now, there is a, a, a nice feature inside advanced steel where you can group uh, joints in a, in a group and have kind of like a parent-child relationship for them. So if you would have seen on um, this other video that I did probably last week, uh, I grouped all of these. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick the source object. And you have to pick uh, basically the first beam or, or the member in that connection. So they're all, all the, the, the vertical columns. And then I'm going to start picking the horizontals that made up with all of those. So one for each of the bays. And then we're going to do the other beams coming across this way. So the ones that go between each of the columns. So there, what event still will do is, is just grab that, that source uh, connection and then apply it to all those others. So uh, again, if I, if I change the parent over here as the first one, if you look over to the right of the screen here and I, and I double click the joint box. So I upgrade to master, which means make this the parent. So if you can't find the parent, you can use that button to make that the parent. And then that means that all of the, the children uh, connections will follow that. So I just switch to my horizontal bolts tab. And then I said just three, just for the, the, the sake of, of this. You can see here that they've all switched to three as well. So if I go back to two, click enter, then again, we, we get two. So you can see how it is just to get some of these connections out here as well. So what I want to do, I can go through through this structural model uh, over the course of the days and then start putting in some footings in and, uh, and whatever else we need to. So I'm just going to close this and it's going to save it. And for the keen people in the audience, you'll see that I did place it in, this is out of my plant project area. Go back to plant 3D to the overall model and our external references changed so then we just reload it. So again, same thing, you can see here that uh, we have all of the connections in there. So inside plant 3D, plant 3D uh, and events still have the, the object enablers in them so we can come in there and you can see that uh, our model is slowly going to look uh, true to what it's going to be out on site as well. So if I just close that off So I've just saved that overall master file and if we jump back into the ortho So there's my overall ortho view there so I can right click on it and Validate it and you'll see that it says that it needs to be changed and then I can click on update views. So we know already that because this slab um, is too small that we're not going to see some of that equipment. So it looks like we also have to edit that view. So you can see the advanced deal options have come, come through, but we do have to add the other equipment. So that other equipment is out over here in the northern part of it. So I go to 3D model selection and select area two equipment and go okay. And now you can see part of it is there as well. 
if we want to expand this view, I can click on the, the view box, look for the grip, and then to move that face, and I'm going to say near to that slab, and then you can see that that's been updated, and I go OK. So this could also possibly mean that our view is going to be too big for the sheet at that scale, and you can see there that it is. So again, it'll be something that you'll determine on your project. Do you have a line coming through here? Do you change the scale? Uh, all of that will be dependent on what you need to change and update in your model or your project there as well. And you can see our pumps have come in. Uh, there's our, our two other uh, pumps and our other piece of equipment, and there's that tank as well. So I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to uh, play around with the, the settings for these ortho views and try and get them uh, to look pretty, and then we'll eventually slowly build up this model. So today's video was nice and short and sweet, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click on the thumbs up. If you didn't, click the thumbs down. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for my daily notifications. And thanks for watching. See ya.